We all need it. Money. Absolutely. Saving cash is something we've been touching on every night this week in the profit report. But it's more than a one-time thing if you want financial freedom in the long run. In tonight's profit report, consumer reporter Jennifer Pocket shows you how to set yourself up for long-term wealth. It's true. Life, it's not all about money. Money isn't the end-all means-all of happiness for sure, but it, as long as you kind of know where it's going and what you're doing with it, it can work in the right way for you. This is Mindy McIntosh of McIntosh & Associates in Freeland. We've been talking to her all week about how to save $500 in one month. We did it by cutting out some of those extra expenses. Think coffee trips, movie theater tickets, lunches out. But to really build up wealth, she says you need to look at other areas of your budget, like your debt. On average, people have four to six items that they have debt on. Everybody knows they need to pay down their debt, but here's the thing. If you're just paying down the minimum on that credit card, you could be paying hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in interest. So that money you're saving every month with Mindy's tips, she says use half of it to help pay down debt. Put the other half in your rainy day account. Once you realize, wow, this can really make a difference, it kind of can change your life. Now, this next tip won't save you money right now, but it will start your family off on the right footing for the future. Mindy suggests starting a college fund for your kids as soon as possible. I think it starts young. So I need to start with the individual, then they can help save for their children. They can then help their children save. And while saving for your kids' college tuition might be your end goal, Mindy says it's not a bad idea to start thinking about your kids' retirement. Yeah, their retirement. Check out these numbers. I actually did a study where if you put money away for the first 20 years of your life, um, $2,000 per year for 20 years, then never put away anything else again. Um, if we're not looking to use that money for college and we're looking more to use it towards retirement, you're close to a million dollars by the time you retire for at 65. Or maybe they use half for college, save the other half for retirement. Whatever the outcome, Mindy says getting the ball rolling now can set your family up for success for decades to come. I'm Jennifer Prophet for Fox 66 News.